So what else do you want to know? Yeah, this one seems perfect uh, <laughs> to line up here. Uh, I want to know, what do you wish somebody told you before you started your podcast? It's so it's funny. This question is, I will probably be more qualified to answer that question in a year than I am now <laughs> since I'm just starting out. So, but I do, I do have a few thoughts. I mean, the first thing I would say is it's, it's way too early for me to say what I wish I would have known, but I can definitely say some initial observations I've had as I sort of get up and running doing this. And I, you know, it's funny, we were talking about gray area, like I, for years, literally years, I've been talking about starting a podcast, thinking I should start a podcast and, you know, recorded a couple episodes, but never posted. I'm like, you know, and every time I've sort of been like, ah, I don't know, kind of seems like a lot of work and all, all of that sort of stuff. So I'm very familiar with that journey of sort of, you know, being in that gray area. So here's a few things that I've noticed of these very early stages of, of sort of getting started. And as we're recording this, I have not released an episode yet. So this is really just about the early stages. The first thing is, even though I had thought through a lot of this, obviously, over the past couple of years, and even though I had sort of a decent sense of kind of what I wanted to be and all of that, there's a lot of little things that once I actually start doing it, that I had to, that I hadn't necessarily thought about, right? So some of it is obvious, like, oh, you need a show title, but then also thinking about, you know, show concept, but then also like descriptions, software, recording software, then even little things, right? How am I going to handle show notes? Do I want transcriptions? Do I care about show notes? Do I want, am I going to do blog posts with it? Like that kind of stuff I hadn't really thought about. And then all of a sudden it's like, oh yeah, what am I going to do? Like, how do I want, and not even that there's a right or wrong at this stage, but just going, oh yeah, like all these kind of little decisions, right? Promo clips. What day am I going to publish? <laughs> right? Like it never, like I hadn't thought about that until it comes time and you're like, all right, well, I guess I better figure out like, you know, when I'm going to publish. And so I think one, you know, and I purposely have gone into this both with a decent amount of knowledge about the space and audience growth and all that stuff and content creation and stuff in general, and also with a major emphasis on like, I am just going to keep this as simple as possible. And yet still, there were a lot of like little things that I hadn't really thought of. Speaking of keeping it simple as possible, like that has definitely been my approach you know, and I, so initially I decided, you know what, I'm going to go with sort of like a season approach. I'm going to commit to recording 12 episodes. We'll see how it goes. And then I'll figure it out from there. And that's been my approach with a lot of this, right? No, I'm not worried about fancy intros or any of that. Like, let's just start. And I can always iterate to iterate down the road. One of the things that was really helpful for me, again, with all these sort of questions as I started to realize all these things that I had to figure out was I, I literally just started a Google doc and I just started writing down, especially like language. Right. So I was like, this is the name of the show. What's my one sense description of what it is. Right. And I wound up with, you know, it's where creative entrepreneurs get their questions answered. I'm like, okay, what's the one paragraph description of this show. Right. What's the intro? What's the email that I send to guests to get them? Like, I just started writing down all this stuff. And that was really helpful because as new things came up, I didn't have to reinvent the wheel. I could go, okay, well, I already wrote a one paragraph description of this. And I already have, you know, the email that I send to guests. So that was a helpful exercise for me to just sort of in one place kind of figure out the, because I had it in my head what I wanted the show to be. But it's very different, you know, it can't just be in my head. I need yeah. to be able to like describe it and have that kind of stuff. So that was helpful. The other thing I would say is, and again, this is, I wouldn't say that this is necessarily something I wish somebody told me, but it's something I guess I'm curious to see. I have no idea how this show is going to do, but I do know, unlike a lot of other people who start podcasts, I have an existing audience. I've published a newsletter for six years. I, I have the advantage. I have a good sense of what people want for me. I've done a lot of consulting. 
I, you know, it's interesting, like this podcast is shaped towards things I've done. I've been guests on podcasts. I've done consulting where people ask me questions and I'm able to answer it. So I think that's the other thing. We'll see how it does, but I'm, I'm optimistic that while I'm new to podcasting, I'm shaping this in a way that is sort of doing things that I've done a lot of before, right? So yeah. this is, you know, this is one of the first episodes I've ever recorded, but it's not the first, it's far from the first time I've answered questions. I know who my audience is. I know kind of what I'm trying to speak to. And it's a mass, you know, look, it's a massive advantage to be able to launch something and send an email to 18,000 people who read my stuff and say, hey, you might like this, right? So yeah. does it mean it's going to work? And to be honest, I have no idea what work even means, right? Like in terms of numbers of downloads or any of that, I really have no idea what to expect. Everybody I talk to says, you know, it's funny. Some of the advice I got, I think it was from uh, this guy, Jeremy Enns, and he had said, I'm going to butcher his exact words, but it was something along the lines of like, you know, he was like, you're going to get way fewer downloads than you think. <laughs> it's going to take you way longer to grow your audience than you think, but it's going to be way more valuable than you think just in terms of like how people connect to hearing your voice and other opportunities it creates. So I'm curious to see how that plays out. My guess is it will, he's probably right <laughs> in some capacity, but yeah, we'll see. So, you know, I will, uh, I will have to have you on down, down the road to, or get back to you with a real answer to that question of what I, uh, what I wish I knew or wish somebody had told me, but let me ask you before we, yeah. before we wrap up here, because you have been doing it a little longer than me. What do you wish somebody told you or as someone who is more of an expert in this space than I am, I'll give you the chance to act actually tell me what I, what should I wish somebody told me? <laughs> well, I, I mean, I, I think there is like a precious moment in time where like you're only have recorded a couple episodes and it mm -hmm. feels like this brand new thing that it's almost hard to capture. Like I have, I have difficulty remembering sometimes um, what it's like in the very beginning. But yeah. I mean, I, I, I wish someone would have told me that, like, I, I, I learned this, but then it, I just wish I would have learned it maybe a little sooner. Someone would have told me. But just the simple fact of it's okay to take up space talking. Like, to me, writing words, it feels like it's because the people usually do it on their own time or something like that. Mm -hmm. But when, I don't know, something about, for me personally, when I'm talking, it feels not natural. Like, if, if I think about talking, talking to a bunch of people, feels like mm -hmm. maybe I need to not say certain things or I need to rush what I'm saying. So just, I feel like taking my time and being myself has always paid off. And yeah. I've never, you know, gone wrong with that. If someone would have said that to me sooner, I mean, probably would have, uh, <laughs> would have been helpful, but yeah, I didn't know it now at least, but I'm really excited to follow your journey. And I know, I love how you're doing it on your terms, which is something a lot of podcasters don't do is mm -hmm. they try to fit some other mold, but like you've created the, you've created a container for how you want to do it and how you like it. And I think that is the most important thing. And as a listener, as I'm listening to the show in the future, I know that that yeah. will be one of my favorite parts of your podcast is that it's how you want it, but it's also, it makes it kind of how I want it too. Cause maybe I didn't even know how I wanted it. And the way you've said it yeah, cool. is so cool. Thank you. No, I appreciate that. And it's funny. And that, that is absolutely I love that you said that because I do think that's another probably takeaway I have at this stage is, you know, I very purposefully, I'm trying to create a show. There's all sorts of different ways to do shows, right? Yeah. And I knew I didn't want to do the like, oh, I'll just have guests on and interview them like, every, you know, like yeah. everybody else does and it'll be an hour and it'll be whatever. You know, I really tried to create this in a way that reflects, again, it's not the only way to do it, but yeah. I do think most shows have too much backstory, not enough sort of actionable, like get to the point. Yeah. Uh, you know, I'm a fan of things in general that are modular. This obviously be very easy to break up and share and repurpose in different ways, trying to make it very actionable and sort of useful and things that people can do, not theoretical, not, you know, any of that kind of stuff. So We'll see. But yeah, you're right. I think I'm a big believer, not just with podcasts, but with everything of, you know, you can do it however you want to do it and see how it goes. And, I, you know, my hope is that this format will work. I know it's a little different. It's a, it's a little unique. And if it doesn't, I can always 
scrap it and do it a different way. So we'll see. Cool. 